Hey boys, welcome to Mass Games. My name is Simon. Today we're looking at World Series of Yahtzee. This is how to set up play and review. This is going in the Mass Games playlist, the Family Rate playlist, and the Have a Set Up Play and Review playlist, amongst many others potentially. So this age is 8 plus, it's very much like the game Yahtzee, but this one has a little kind of a buzzer. It's very much like a poker element. Now, of course, the original game does have that too. It has this interesting kind of uh, construction, which you don't really have to worry about too much. It's for two to four players, it takes around 20 minutes to play. And it's very much like Lazi, but of course with this, like I said, this showdown element of poker. Lovely dice, which do have an interesting kind of dent in the dice, which um, isn't good or bad. It's just an interesting observation. And what you're going to do is, uh, as you can see, this is uh, switched on. You can't seem to turn it off. And you're going to place this out on top of here. And the aim of the game is to get the highest amount of points by completing various requirements. But what you're going to be doing is chucking these out face down initially and then placing them out. So let's just say we did like this and this one. And you might recognize if you played Yahtzee how this works. If you were watching this the short, you're now watching the full video over on YouTube. Make sure you comment in YouTube is best because it does get shared. Of course, please do like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Choose your dice. I tend to pick these ones. Check out my dice distancing video as well. See how far dice roll and whether or not you'll need a dice tray. As you can see, it's a combination of red and white and black. So make sure you pick something that suits you. These is kind of a feel, just sort of slide under here. I haven't noticed anything specific how they actually kind of just bolt on, but it definitely keeps things stable. And here we go. Make sure you check out the podcast. Make sure you look along and check out all the photos over on Instagram as well. So over 3,000 posts at the time of recording. Once all this get game or deck is gone, the game will end. So when you're ready to start, you are able to start hitting that buzzer and start doing the countdown. Now it is a bit funny how this uh, this kind of buzzer works, but we've all set those things up, we've collected everything, and what you're gonna do is ultimately hit something and see what you can do. So let's say I'm rolling these. I roll my dice, everyone rolls at the same time. I'm trying to get a number of things. I want to get maybe three twos, so maybe I'll keep them. Maybe I wanna get a large straight, so I need to hit, in this case, a two, three, four, five, six. Three ones, I need to get three of a kind and two of a kind. Over here, three fives. Here, it's all the same to get five, so I get 50 points. So nothing here, everyone's rolling at the same time, they're trying to get what I'm getting, still not getting anything good. Uh, and here we go, I might try and go for a full house. Nope, and uh, let's see what else I can get. So in this case, I can do one of two things. I could claim this, or I could claim this. Now this is better, so I hit this, this might get loud. Yes, so I've done something like this, and now everyone else is gonna have five seconds to try and then hit and do their thing too. So it's about five seconds. And whilst everyone's rolling, they're doing a claim something too. Now, I happen to go first, which means I get first pick. So I'll take this one, and then everyone's second. So I don't know, this person might have gone over here in a time of spinning round, you've done that. And then you go again, okay? And that's pretty much how it works. So then you replenish everything. So of course, somebody else might have taken this, and then this gets replenished, and we've got another large straight, and we've got that one. So, so now, obviously, I've got the points. We're ready to go again. Let's say this person went first. Everyone else has got five seconds to roll. You've rolled your dice, you pick. This person gets to go first. And then of course we go on to the next player. And as an example, we now do this person, let's say wins. And then that person also then goes. So in a space of five seconds, they get first pick. So they take that one. And now this person will get a chance because they also buzzed within five seconds. They take this one. And now of course we're ready to go again. So. You're going to count up all your points at the end, and then ultimately most points wins. That's the game. I do like this very much over original Yahtzee. It's a lot of interaction. Tension doesn't take long time to play. Uh, again, you don't need any score pads, so you don't have to worry about those running out. Don't, don't worry about lamination, things like that. Highly enjoyable. Uh, I'm not sure my rating presently. Uh, definitely decent, though. I would recommend it. And if you're going to get Yahtzee, I'd probably recommend this over any other form of Yahtzee, to be honest. If you haven't been aware of what I mentioned before about where the word Yahtzee came from, it was invented on a yacht. That's why it's yacht C, if that makes sense. So there'll be a dice testing video, like I said, to see how far dice roll, whether or not you do dice tray. But there we go. I hope you found this of interest, obviously. Much more, more dice to chuck in here. Lovely poker-like dice or casino dice. But for now, back to the table.